if I am not your dream girl, get out of the way. I want someone who's obsessed with me, someone who wants to see me. They want to call me when we're not together. When we are together, they can't take their hands off of me. I want someone that loves the way that I love. So if that's not you, make room. Not at all. Why would I move if I find something cheap and easy that I want? You are the only one who can decide who to let into your life. You want guys who aren't interested in you to move on to the next one. For good reasons. You can't make that choice on your own. I don't know what to tell you if that's what you really want. It's the same as telling my car not to start because I want to buy a new one. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to see women over 40 are desperate to find a man. Let's get started right away. So I found out yesterday my divorce has been finalized and honestly, that hurts. Like. My ex-husband is an amazing man and I never went into marriage thinking it was going to end. So the fact that it's now officially done, oh, it's been a lot. And that was on top of what was already a bad week. You know, I've been, oh, it's been a lot. And that was on top of what was already a bad week. You know, I found out I'd been made redundant. I reached out to the situationship guy, which was stupid. I don't know. I thought maybe it might make me feel better. It didn't. So I had to go back to no contact. So when you're going through shit, just know it is okay to not be okay and just take the time you need to kind of process things and spend some time just trying to make yourself feel better because life can be fucking difficult and I know for me like I really struggle with rejection and so this is just another thing that I'm gonna have to process and when life feels like it's fallen apart it does give you the opportunity to rebuild it again so just know if you're going through shit you will be okay and you will find your happiness. What a funny story this is. So. These kinds of women are leaving their husbands and ending their relationships with guys. It's funny because she says, Hey, listen, I'm getting a divorce at the same time. No longer are things going well. She says that he's a great guy. I don't think I could have said it better myself. Hey guys, you can be great men. Even if you're a great boyfriend, she will want your money or get bored. I'm really having a hard time holding back my laughs here. That's crazy. That's why I'm telling you this, okay? How funny is it that there are over 40 of these women whose relationships, marriages, and other relationships have failed? They need to find a guy badly. I love how we have to end with this awful piece of advice. In all of these cases, it's never her fault, guys. It doesn't matter what we do or how badly we mess up our lives or the lives of others. Never. You know, she's never to blame for anything she does in these relationships, marriages, or other situations like this. It's always the man's fault, I guess. Guys, has anyone else generally thought that this has been like the worst start to the year possible? Like 2023, worst year of my life. And I was like, it's fine. 2024 is gonna be my year. We're a month in and it's not my year. Like, anyway. She meant to say that because she is a businessman, her company will do very well in 2024. To be fair, she did work hard on that business for a long time. She went to Ofcom, clicked on Create New Account, and then she added some photos and movies. And just like that, she was a businesswoman. I am back for my date. It's nine, so that's not bad. Um, I went with what everybody kind of suggested, which was number three with the jeans from one and two. Um, he was nice. He showed up. He drove two hours for our date, and we went out to dinner. He opened my door, he was respectful, he did all the right things. Um, dinner. He opened my door, he was respectful, he did all the right things. Um, just not it. And he lives two hours away, and it turns out like he runs the company nationally, so he travels all the time. Like, all the time. So he lives two hours away, he has kids, which is normally great, but he literally runs the company at a national level, which is great. I like ambitious people, but I know how much those people travel. So he was in Vegas this week, just got back today and is leaving already on Monday. It, it's impossible. Like it is simply impossible to see each other at a level that I want from my partner when you add in the kids and living two hours away 
and careers. And that's just it. But you know what? The company was good. Um, the conversation was good. It was nice to get out there. It's nice to experience people. I like connecting, but the verdict's out. I'm, I'm still looking for my husband. That's it. He wasn't pretty enough. You know, I don't understand why this guy is going two hours for a date. It's funny that he has to drive two hours. You should know that he's paying for the date and giving you his key. But I promise you that the guy this woman used to like didn't have to do any of this ridiculous stuff. Okay, so the guy saw this. That's why she went on the date with him in the first place. She went there because he's rich. But she doesn't want to stay because he's not beautiful. That's how I see the case. You might want to go see the guy who isn't, like, making a ton of money. Do you see how this works now? We don't want anybody else. We don't. We? We don't want the less attractive guy. The man who makes less money is not what we want. We want the guys who make a lot of money and look good, but we want their full attention. I like guys who are ripped, but I don't like guys who work out a lot. I want a guy who is both really funny and very serious, as the saying goes. One of the ultimate perks about making big girl money is that you can buy the things that would have made you as a little girl very, very happy. For example, I was just in New York and obviously when you're in New York, you go shopping any pizza, but mostly I did shopping and I got a bag that I have been dreaming of having since I was a little girl. Let me show you one second. her i'm not much of like a lb girly but like come on this is so cute it's denim so cute didn't she get lucky to this day she still wants her back from when she was a little girl growing up oh i've come up with something what does he show us the bag yes what do you say also no one will look at her bag yes but hey thanks to all the guys who can't help themselves now she can make more money. So my Tuesday ran apparently. Um, why y'all do is always be trying to tell me stop being mean and I can get a man. Y'all don't realize a man is the easiest thing to get. Oh, and y'all say I'm being mean because I don't know loyalty, consistency, not lying and not being on no bullshit or playing games is basically me not accepting for less and that's being mean. That's funny. That's crazy. Y'all, y'all, y'all done set the status so goddamn low out here in these streets. It's a shame. But baby, baby, a man the easiest damn thing to get. I don't want one. I don't want him. You good. I'm going to keep being mean. I'm going to keep having my bar set real, real, real high. Um, and and y'all not being able to reach it. It is what it is. You don't like it? Don't bother me, boo. I thought you said guys were simple. Where is your boyfriend if guys are so easy? Where is the guy you know will treat you well? Oh, what is that? You don't have one? When these women say things like, this man is treating me badly, you can be sure that he's not doing the bare minimum. But at the same time, we're whining that men don't do the bare minimum for us. By the way, guys, this woman is also over 40. I'm still using TikTok filters to look for a man. Okay, the bad language keeps going. Most likely, they have no idea what these words mean. They can't just sit there and think, maybe this is wrong. I could be doing something wrong. Now, I'm not saying that standard ways of doing things are bad or anything, but if you're attractive enough, women don't care about those ways. Second, many of these women don't deserve to act in standard ways to begin with. Click like to let other people know you like the show. You'll know when I add new shots if you click the bell. Thanks for everything you've done. Do it right now. Check out more videos of people hitting walls by coming back to this page.